Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here. Today I want to show you guys this trend amongst photographers that's happening. It's a bit of a variation of a slideshow. I'm going to be using some photos I took with my iPhone using an app called Hooji. It does that vintage kind of look, but it does one thing and I kind of like that limitation. It just gets you to take a photo and that's what it is. So we'll go in and I'll show you guys how to do this. To spice up the final video, we'll be using some sound effects from the 360 Connect Transitions Pack, but more on that later. So we'll go in, pick some of those photos. I'm gonna open up Photoshop for starters. And the key thing I'm using Photoshop for is the object selection tool. Now you can mask stuff, but it's kind of cool that the object selection tool is this powerful. So you go up here, if you can't see it, just click and press on it. Object selection tool is right there. And as soon as you click on the image, you see these blue bits where you can to select those parts of your photos and they'll just mask those out. Obviously, yes, you can go in and mask things individually and you can do this in Premiere as well. But yeah, I thought it'd be easier to do it in Photoshop, export some PNGs and off we go. So I've got this image right here. What I've masked out is this part right here. I'm gonna go in, let's mask that part as well. So click on it when it turns blue, right click, select and mask. And then you can make your adjustments and then I'm gonna go all the way down and then output to new layer. Okay, and that's it. So I've got my speaker in the background, I've got my guitar and then the rest of the image. So that's what the slideshow is gonna do. I'll have each element appear. I might slide stuff in using the transform tool, but that's the idea behind this trend. Let's go in and try another photo. So let's use this little wannabe creative shot I took in the car. So that's pretty cool. So what I'm looking at is the different elements. So obviously we got the shoe, probably got the leg. So let's go in and use our object selection tool and mask some stuff out. Select and mask. Obviously when you're in this screen right here to select and mask, you can make further adjustments. So for example, I can press the option key and then take some stuff out. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Let's just take these parts out. So. Excellent, I'm gonna export to a new layer. And the cool thing is the object selection tool, because it has analyzed the image, is gonna be a lot faster. So again, I'm gonna select that, select and mask. And this is pretty much the process. You go through every photo, look at all the little elements and see what you wanna keep and what you wanna take out. My shoe out on this one, new layer, great. And just to keep everything organized, I'm going to group these call that o2 so i've got every image will have its folder another reason i'm doing this in photoshop is because i can frame stuff a lot better and it's a photo editing tool at the end of the day i'm going for the classic artistic photo in the <laughs> in the bathroom oh what a goof but i thought why not if we're going to do the trend you might as well do it right command t and i'll reframe this a bit better sweet that's cool enter and then object selects tool let's see what we got for this one i thought It'll be interesting to mask out the flash. So I've used the lasso tool, select and mask, same thing. I'm always gonna export onto a new layer. And the idea is I'm gonna export everything as a PNG or I might just drop everything in to Premiere Pro because it can read PSDs. So that's a good one. So the slideshow is gonna go boom, boom, boom. So that's pretty cool. Well, I masked the rest of the photos. Let me tell you about the 360 pack. With over 400 professionally recorded, mixed, and treated sound effects, this pack will help take your videos, vlogs, highlights to the next level. No installation required, they're compatible with all software, and the chair on top, they're all royalty free. You get one unlimited license with your purchase, so you can go ahead and use the pack as much as you want. Plus, you'll get a bunch of extra packs to go with it. That, my friends, is a deal. Let's get back to the video. I'm happy with that. I've got 11 photos I can work with. Let's go on to Premiere and um, see how these work out. So we take that PSD file, we're gonna drop into Premiere and I want it to be individual layers and I want it to be a sequence, select everything, layer size and okay. The one thing about this is your groups in Photoshop do not match the groups it drops into Premiere. But if you look at the first number of your files, those are the photos that go together. So if I open up my sequence, right here it stacked everything up together which is pretty much half the job done but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to separate those and just work on 
groups of photos at a time. I'm going to press the tilt a key and that's a lot of layers. Let's work on a few photos at a time. So these ones right here, 13, tilt a key again. So I would like, let's see, move five frames using the shift key and the right arrow. And I've got this bang, bang, bang. I'm going to leave the first video layer as a gap because I'm going to add another photo. Whatever photo I end with, I'm going to put there so you can just loop. You get what I mean? And then let's go to the next photo. Again, another five frames. Move that forward. And here, if I double click on the photo, I can see what it is. So I want to end with that one. So again, five frames ahead. Boom. So already I've got something like that. Looks pretty cool already. Pretty vintagey, pretty like artistic, I'd say. I'm going to do the basic thing now and then I'm going to animate stuff later. So let me just get the layers in first and then I'll start animating stuff. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now let's go back and just start with a few transitions. So the shoe right there, I can animate that. And I'm going to be using the transform tool. I've done a whole video about the transform tool and how useful it is. But I'm going to use it here to add a bit of movement and to add a bit of blur because you can't really add any blur to your stuff unless you use the transform tool when you're moving it. So I'm going to click this box, put the shutter angle to 200. I'm going to keyframe position, move ahead. Let's go around there, go back a keyframe and then move that out of the way. So look at this. Bam. And then I could do the same thing on the next one. I can even go up to the transform tool and just copy it, copy it to the next one. And look at this. So that looks pretty cool. So I am going to copy paste this effect where I need it, but just change the positioning of that first keyframe. So boom, boom. And then I like this light right here. I'm going to animate. Uh, I want it to arrive from the Z top. Yeah, that's cool. So what I'm going to do with this one, that's going to start there, but I want it to zoom in to the next one. So let's go with the guitar. I want it to zoom into the guitar part. Then am I going to, am I going to make it smaller? So I'm going to toggle position and scale. So far I've got this, 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 and then I want that to zoom in. And as this is going to zoom in, I want both of them to zoom in. So toggle five frames. And then I want that to go like there. Zoom in all the way. And then the second photo, I want that to be just as it was. So in theory, when this is animated, save it before something happens. I would like to put some kind of lens effect. Let's put some kind of lens distortion. All right, uh, we'll keyframe everything we've done here. Move to the next keyframe there and then reset everything and if you pixel peep here obviously you can see that right there i've got the image underneath you can add like some kind of gaussian blur and keyframe it but to be honest i wouldn't worry because the transition is so fast anyways so that's pretty cool and that's it you add some music to it and you got your social media post Obviously, this is something that you could do super quick as soon as you get the workflow down. I reckon 25 minutes, you could probably get this done. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And hopefully that's easy enough for you guys to fit into your workflow. Maybe it's not a social media post. Maybe it's something you add to your current videos. Like, subscribe. That always helps the channel. And if you want to check me out personally, Dev the Greco is my ID handle. Till next time. Peace.